Yossi. Everybody. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make cedar tea using Western red cedar, which is this tree right here. This tea has tons of vitamins and minerals that are good for you. Plus it's delicious. It tastes a little bit like spicy oregano or another kind of herb. I'm going to take you on a little adventure and we're going to go make a cup. Western red cedar is a tree known to the indigenous people of this area as the tree of life. They used the roots, the bark, the wood, everything from the tree to make different things from medicine to canoes to even clothing. It is a huge part of indigenous culture and I'm really excited to be getting to experiment with it for my own enjoyment. One interesting fact about Western red cedar is that the leaves contain a ketone called thujone, which is basically this compound known to have hallucinogenic properties. Thujone is technically considered a neurotoxin, but it's totally safe to consume as long as you don't go overboard with it. Scientists recommend that you keep it to under a cup a day, but do your own research. This is just a YouTube video. So first things first, when we're going to make cedar tea, we have to collect the leaves. It's good to collect green, healthy leaves. Check out a plant identification guide if you're not sure, but cedar is pretty easy to spot for its scaled leaves that are usually smooth. Western red cedar in particular has smooth leaves compared to yellow cedar, which is also common in this area, which has more spiky leaves. For my cup of cedar tea, I'm going to use two parts water to one part cedar leaves, but you can make it as strong as you want, even equal or more cedar leaves if you like. I'm storing my cedar leaves in a jar during this hike to keep them fresh and as you can see I'm crushing them up and this is going to help release the oil so when I pour hot water in here it's going to be nice and pungent and delicious. Cedar tea can be made anywhere. You can make this at home. I'm going to make mine on a campfire just for fun and I'm going to use stream water. If you're going to use stream water though be sure to boil it for long enough that it's disinfected.
All right, so now that the water has boiled for long enough and it's nice and hot, I'm going to combine it into the jar with the cedar leaves. Now all we have to do is let it soak for 15 to 20 minutes and then our cedar tea will be ready to enjoy. All right, so it's been about 15, 20 minutes. Let's test this out. It's nice and steamy. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like, well, it smells like cedar. <laughs> all right. That's really good. It tastes like a little bit like, almost like oregano, just like any other herb, like a spicy oregano plant. Um, love it. I'm gonna pour myself a glass. It's got this really nice like yellowish tint. Here, check that out. I'm gonna go sit by the river and enjoy my beverage. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it informational and fun. This is a great camp craft to do when you're out hiking or in the woods. I can't wait to enjoy mine as my bedtime tea camping this summer. Until next time, stay wild.